Hey guys, check out my latest podcast on Gavin Richard Presents, only on Anchor and Spotify. That's right, guys. We have moved to podcasts, so now we are heard all over the internet. I just don't do YouTube. Of course, you can't stop me. Uh, we do talk about a whole course of issues, whether it's race, politics, sports, entertainment, you name it, we claim it. So please check out the podcast Gavin Richard Presents on Anchor and Spotify. I'll holla. Peace. What's up, family? Welcome to another edition of Gavin Richard. <laughs> Only on channel GBoo2786. Whoever you are, wherever you are, hope you're blessed and doing safe. That's not the original song, of course. The original one um, that everyone's familiar with uh, was by Chuck Berry, the late Chuck Berry. But I can't play all of it, obviously, because I'll get hit with a copyright claim. So I'm trying to avoid that. But, uh... The song My Dingaling, which was written by New Orleans native Dave Bartholomew, actually became a number one bestseller. Chuck Berry's, I believe, his only number one seller, believe it or not, all, all the hits that he had uh, in 1972. And I'm not here to talk about music or Chuck Berry, but Bartholomew actually performed that back in the 40s and 50s. And then Berry, of course, he took it to new heights. And I'm here to talk, obviously, about uh, Jeffrey Tubin. And that song, of course, is a novelty song. It's a double entrade, is what we call it, because it's actually, he's talking about a toy, but it can be interpreted. <laughs> it can be interpreted, uh, of course, as him talking about his private, a <laughs> boy's private area, which is what... Uh, <laughs> what happened here with... Jeffrey Tubin. Now, those who don't know who Jeffrey Tubin is, he is an attorney, and Tubin made his living basically off of the O.J. Simpson case. He covered that trial. He was a le he is a legal analyst for CNN and for the New Yorker. He's a blogger. And he's a lawyer, and he was responsible basically for. The book, The People versus O.J. Simpson, or if that's not the book, the actual book is entitled, let me see if I got it right. Yes, yeah, he's written several books on the O.J. Simpson case, the run of his life, The People versus O.J. Simpson. That's the other, that's the case. Uh, and, of course, he's done case of uh, books on Donald Trump, on Barack Obama and others. But now, Mr. Tubin is in the spotlight, all for the wrong reasons. Mr. Tubin has been caught <laughs> with his tail out. Uh, this is according to CNN, and of course, this was also on Vice News. It was it was reported that Jeffrey Tubin has been suspended from the New Yorker after he was caught masturbating <laughs> on, a, on a live Zoom call. Vice reported earlier Monday that Tubin had exposed himself during a Zoom meeting with staffers of the New Yorker and WNYC radio. In a statement Monday afternoon, the New Yorker said Tubin was, has been suspended while we investigate the matter. It declined for the comment. A CNN spokesperson said in a statement that Jeff Tubin has asked for some time off while he deals with a personal issue, which we have granted. A very personal issue. CNN senior legal analyst pending what the cable network is calling a personal matter. 
I'm sorry, I was just reading the top from the Associated Press. Now, Tubin has a, apparently he issued a statement here. And um, there are different, of course, different articles when it comes from either the Associated Press, when it comes from Vice, they're going to have different information. So I'm reading back and forth. But Jeffrey Tubin, it says here that he released a statement stating, I made an embarrassingly stupid mistake believing I was off camber. I apologize to my wife, family, friends, and co-workers. I believed I was not visible on Zoom, he added. I thought no one on the Zoom call could see me. I thought I had muted the Zoom video. You don't mute video. You stop video. You stop the video, jackass. When you click on, if anybody knows how to use a Zoom call, everybody knows, number one, first off, where was this computer positioned that it caught that? Was he standing up, jerking off? Because <laughs> I'm on Zoom all week as a teacher. So when I want to go off camera, if I have to run, I just hit stop video. Mute or mute just means mute audio. That doesn't stop the visual. So he doesn't know how to work Zoom. And for a sixty a fifty eight year old man, he should know better. And that doesn't excuse the fact that you got caught with this. He's sixty, excuse me. He was born in nineteen sixty, so he's sixty years old and he gets caught with his pants down. <laughs> when I was a boy, my grandma brought me a home. I'm, I'm messing up the lyrics. When I was a little baby boy, my grandmother bought me a brand new toy. Silver bells on a string. I wanted to play with my ding. <laughs> oh my, come on, y'all sing it out there. My dingling, I want you to play. I got Chuck Berry's voice down. My dingling. <laughs> now. I have no sympathy for Jeffrey Tobin because Jeffrey Tobin is the man who was credited with the term race card. Now I told you about the OJ Simpson case, but Jeffrey Tobin was there every day of that trial, or at least from my understanding, he wasn't there every day at the trial. He was just there and, or he had one of his subordinates there to come and listen in on the trial from my information and he is the one that coined helped coin that term race card he helped coin that term and of course the biggest thing they've said with the OJ Simpson case is that they've always stated that Donny, Johnny Cochran played the race card Okay, he's credited with that. And throughout his career, I've noticed that he tr he was the one also that broke the news that they were going to accuse Furman of planting evidence. He broke that story in 1994 in the, in the New Yorker. And he also provided an analysis over Michael's trial in 2005, his child molestation trial. And this man basically has been, he's a millionaire. I'm going to call him a millionaire. He's got to be a millionaire because he created, not just as an attorney but and working for CNN and The New Yorker, but he wrote those books that made him a lot of money. And one of those books obviously was produced in that FX series, The People vs. O.J. Simpson. Now... I remember that O.J. Simpson case as a kid. I remember 
watching it religiously with my parents because, excuse me one second. I rem remember watching this series when it came out in 2016 and this series won nine Emmys. So Jeffrey Tubin, those are the actors that played uh, the real life people in the uh, O.J. Simpson case or people that were involved in the O.J. Simpson case. That's supposed to be Marsha Clark, Johnny Cochran, Cato Kalin, Robert Shapiro, uh, Bob Kardashian, and of course, Cuba Gooding Jr. was O.J. Simpson. John Travolta played Shapiro. Uh, I don't know who the actor here is who plays Cato Kalin, but that's David Schwimmer. He played Rob Kardashian. And the lady who uh, is supposed to be Marsha Clark, you guys know the actress's name. I can't think of it at that time. I don't know all of it. But she plays Nurse Ratchet. Uh, Sarah Paulson. That's it. I'm sorry. Sarah Paulson. Paulson. And that's Courtney B. Vance, uh, husband of Angela Bassett. Now, and a good actor. Very good actor. And he looked just like Johnny. Uh, did a great job as Johnny. But, you know, I even read that uh, when that was shown, and obviously I don't know how they, they have prisons in TV, but O.J. Simpson apparently looked at it. He had issues with it because he said they portrayed Johnny Cochran as a huckster, lawyer. Now, what I was going to say is that I, myself, um, didn't really care for, I really didn't care for Jeffrey Tobin as much. I don't really have any sympathy for him because as a man, you know, he should have known better, especially when you're going up uh, doing a Zoom call or any conference call. Were you in that much of a hurry? Like, <laughs> your meeting is scheduled at 5 o'clock. You decide while the, uh, while the host hasn't begun, while the host hasn't started the meeting, you're going to get up and say, eh. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, 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 oh. Well, thank you for the meeting. Oh shit, Jeffrey, what the hell? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I can't stop. I'm in mid. I'm in mid plateau. <laughs> Where do we begin with that? How does he even explain what happened? I thought it was on mute. I so that means you were thinking about you were doing this right before the meeting started. You decided to raise the uh, computer screen up, man. <laughs> Come on. He was part of that cabal that tried to go after O.J. Simpson, and I'm pretty sure I don't even I don't remember him exactly with Michael Jackson. Uh, per se, but I'm pretty sure that was negative, his reporting on it. But they all went with that uh, notion. They all went with that. So, he is getting his comeuppance from all of this. He's been suspended. I don't think he's going to be fired. I'd imagine he probably would not be fired. And let's say he was fired, um, you know, he's going to find a job somewhere else. He might go back to court TV. And, you know, I don't know what, how much his net worth is, but I'm pretty sure he'll be well off. I'm pretty sure he's not suffering financially. It's not my business, but, you know, I'm just guessing, especially somebody, well, he's got a net worth of $10 million. So, hey, shit, he's going to be fine. If he loses his job. Remember, white supremacists and racists don't get fired. They get transferred. I don't know about perverts, but. <laughs> Jeffrey, you should have. Jeffrey, you should have known better than doing this, man. You know better. If you're going to whack off before the meeting, just make sure the computer screen is off. Make sure the computer, computer screen is shut down or closed. <laughs> Go to the bathroom next time if you're going to do it. <laughs> oh. 
Guys, I got nothing more on this. I could I could make jokes for days on this stuff. Uh, <laughs> I want, like I said, I wanted to lead in with Chuck Berry's My ding a -ling, but y'all know I would have been hit with a copyright claim so quick. Thank you, YouTube. I uh, can't really stand them. But uh, you guys be safe and be blessed. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, was this some shit or what? This was funny. This... <laughs> I can't I I can't I can't deal with this man <laughs> alright <laughs> keep your dinglings tight alright go play with them just make sure the zoom is off <laughs> <laughs> My dingling, oh my dingling, I want you to play with my dingling, my dingling, dingling, I want you to play with my dingling. <laughs> Good night, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Join the Cash App. Um, donate to the Cash App. Uh, Gavin Reshaw that's why those apps will be available and links will be available in the video description I'll holla peace